Welcome to a Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium, and I am here to give you 60 minutes of what I like to loosely refer to as entertainment. But actually, in all honesty, I will be answering your questions about life, love, career, finances, and helping you connect to loved ones up above. I have... Um, a special announcement. If you don't get through today on the show, right after my show, I'm going to be joining Peter G on his show and we will be going live answering questions over there. So please join, join me on the Peter G show right after this show. Like literally, I'm going to go from my show to his show and it's going to be a lot of fun. If you'd like to call in with a question, the call-in number is 845-277-9131. Um, otherwise, you can put a question in the chat and I'll be happy to answer that question also. So uh, real quick, I just want to say, if you do call in and you do have a question, make sure you hit the one on your keypad so that uh, your hand gets raised in the call log and I know that you have a question. Otherwise, it, you're just, um, it looks like you're just calling in to listen, which is okay. That's A-OK. -okay. Um, where are we starting today? I will never reach out to you. Please don't be scammed. You can get a hold of me on my website if you want a private session. I'm happy to do private sessions for people. If you have more questions or need more information that I can fulfill on the show, please don't hesitate to reach out to me and um, I'll be happy to do a private session for you. First, we are going to do confirmations. That's what I'm hearing. And confirmations can be something that re lets you know your loved one is with you. It can be something that reminds you of your loved one. And the first thing I hear is Old Spice. It could be something that um, they loved, you loved, or it, it, they never did, never discussed it, and now it's it's a, uh, a confirmation. And I'm going to give you a quick example and how you can confirm a confirmation. I was coming home one day and I was walking up to my back door and there was a butterfly. I love butterflies, just love them. And then all of, and I didn't want to go all the way to my back door because it was just flying all around my back door and I wanted to let it fly around. Um, and then another one showed up. So there were two of them. And then I'm like, okay, is this, and I asked it like, is this my mom? And I did get a yes. And then I said, um, is and then the the second butterfly I asked a name and I heard a yes and then two more butterflies showed up and I asked you know is this Max and Bella and I did get the confirmation that yes you know and they are not the butterfly but they will put something in your path that you're going to see so that it's a you know they are around you you know they are, your loved ones are around you. Um, so what I'm saying could be something they loved, they did, they wore. I'm seeing flannel button down shirts on a man. Um, I'm actually seeing the gray on black or gray on dark gray flannel button down shirt as a confirmation for someone. And you know, when I say something like Old Spice, there could be 10 people that watch this or hear this that say, oh my gosh, that's my confirmation. It truly is a confirmation for all 10 of you. Trust me on that. Cardinals, um, cardinals are confirmation for someone or many people watching, listening. Bluebirds, um, I'm just hearing lanterns. 
electrical storms, electrical storms. Um, and then I'm seeing hay, hay bales. I almost said hay barrels, but it could be barrels, but hay bales. It's not the square ones, it's the round ones. Like when they roll hay up, it's the round ones. Okay, the next one that I'm seeing, okay, I'm hearing is, those were some of them that I'm seeing. I'm hearing P. Diddy. <laughs> No, no, you take that someplace else. No, it's going to mean something to someone, but yeah. Okay, the next one is, um, this has to be for, I'm going to guess this is for the same person, Charmaine. So whatever that is, that's for someone. I'm just going to say that. Um, a couple more confirmations before I go to names or songs. The next confirmation is, it, it actually is a song, Live and Let, da, do, 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 do. okay, that one. And then the next one is um, Balloons, and then I hear that song, 99 Red Balloons, da, na, 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 na. I don't really, can't sing any song, but there's that song. And then the next one is uh, the next confirmation. Okay, they want to go into names, but if I do get more, more confirmations, I will give them. And remember, confirmations could be from when they were here to something that's going on now. Okay, something they did have when they were here or something that's going on now. And then I'm hearing peanut butter jelly time, peanut butter jelly time for whomever that's for. And then Nutter Butters. Oh my gosh. I haven't, when's the last time any of us have thought about a Nutter Butter? I don't even know. There are people that probably don't even know what a Nutter Butter is. <laughs> Okay, the first name I'm getting is Joe. The next name I'm getting is uh, Brittany and then Brianna. And the next name I'm getting is um, Felicia. The next name I'm getting is Joanne. The next name I'm getting is um, Cecilia. And that song is coming through Cecilia. Yo, is it? I'm down on my knees. I'm begging you, please. I think it's Cecilia. You're breaking my heart. Something come home. Okay, that anyway, that song, Cecilia. But the name is Cecilia too. Um, okay, and then I'm getting Portugal as a, a place. This could have been some place they're from. You went to, wanted to go to, whatever Portugal means to whomever it means. Uh, the next thing, the next name, because I'm on names now, but if I get more confirmations, I'm going to give them. They've kind of mashed it up, names, songs, and um, and d d d d confirmations all in one. And it's so funny because, <clears throat> because I just kind of love it this way. Now, again, I'm just going to say this again for anybody new. Um, it could be your name, their name, or somebody you love's name. And then I hear the name Kitty. They want to make sure I say the name Kitty. It could be a pet. It could be uh, what a nickname, whatever it is. Then the next thing, uh, th when I do songs, they, that could be a song they loved, you loved, or an answer to a question. And I always have to add that, an answer to a question because it really could be that answer to a question. Okay, the next uh, thing that I'm getting is um, that song, If You Love Me, Let Me Know. If You Don't, Then Let Me Go, that song. The next thing I'm getting is um, <laughs> the song Highway to Hell. No, nobody's on the highway to hell. Nobody is, just the song and that group, okay? Um, th the next song, 
the, the next thing I'm getting is, um, oh, I really, uh, making love out of nothing at all. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know why that song wants to just make me like, like I need to get it out of my head now. <laughs> Um, the next confirmation is, um, it, it's a statement and it's, it's not breaking the law if you don't get caught. <laughs> I <laughs> oh, I am not giving anyone permission to do anything. That's just a message I heard. It is not a statement of facts in any way. Okay, if you'd like to call in, the call in number is 845-277-9131. If you're watching on YouTube, I'm going to be answering questions and uh, you can put your question in the chat. Also, if you are on YouTube or on, if you've called in, please hit that like button. And if you're asking a question, please hit the subscribe um, if you don't mind. Okay, uh, here we go. Um, I'm gonna go to, <clears throat> and don't forget right after this, I'm gonna be on the Peter G Show. And we are going to be talking about, I think, I am going to be taking some callers over there and maybe answering questions. That's up to Peter. But we're also going to talk about the difference between gifts that people have and how all of this works and a number, just a plethora of things, okay? Um, 708, what's your name and where are you calling from? Marie. Hello. Yes, I'm Marie. Hi, Marie. Where are you calling from? Elmwood Park. I'm sorry? Elmwood Park. Okay. Okay. Excellent. How can I help you today, love? I'm wondering if I should come back or if I should stay where I'm living now. Um. I'm on vacation from Florida and I moved there a year and a half ago. And I got the opportunity from a very good friend to come back and stay with her for a little while in my hometown. And I'm wondering if my family from the other side thinks I should stay where I am or if I should come back. I'm going to tell you from the very first, thank you for explaining that. I really do appreciate that. Um, stay where you are. Um, I feel like- I'm sorry. <clears throat> stay, stay don't go back don't go back like go stay, back. stay in where you live stay where you live is what i'm hearing don't stay where i live yeah don't go to don't relocate that's the best way i can say it don't don't relocate stay where you are um if if at some point you absolutely have to then that's a different thing but as of right now just stay where you are it's always tempting right but they're saying this isn't the time this isn't the time to do that i i hope that makes sense to you love yeah i i, I told myself that I feel like if i come back i'm gonna wreck myself you are and you're gonna so and this is what i'm hearing and i need to tell you this and I, 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 I'm going to say it in the best way that I can. If you come back, if you go back or go, if you relocate back to where you were before, you're going to pick up on old habits that are not good for you. You're going to be on a pattern of self-destruct. And, you know, it's nice to be a guest and people are well-meaning when they say that, but it will get old very quickly. 
for both sides of it. And if you've reestablished yourself in such a good way, don't mess up what you have. That's really, I'm just hearing, don't mess up what you have, love. Okay? That's what I thought. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope this was helpful. And I look forward to talking with you again in the future. Thank you. Thank you so much. You are so welcome. And thank you so much for calling in. I really appreciate that. So I started answering a question for Trisha. Um, she wants to know when is she, what month is she moving to South Carolina. Trisha, I heard it before and I'm hearing it again. And I don't know why this month is so far off. I'm gonna double check it just to make sure, but I'm hearing, I'm gonna do it a different way. Just give me one second, cause I wanna make sure I'm getting the right month. So right now we're about to go into September, no? Okay, uh, March, April. I don't know why. I know that probably doesn't make sense to you. Um, is that when she's moving to South Carolina? Yeah, I'm, they're doubling down on it. Um, that's interesting. That's really interesting. Trisha, if you have a follow-up question to that, let me know. Or if you have something else, um, I know you say, yes, you're you're in the process of selling a home and you plan on using moving this year, but I feel like it's going to be, is there any way they can move to South Carolina this year? Yeah, it'll be difficult if you do. Is their house sale gonna go through? Yes, is it gonna go through? Your house sale might not go through when you think it is. I don't know. I don't know, Trisha, I need more information. I don't know. This is what I'm getting as of right now. Um, I hope that was helpful. That I don't think that's what you wanted to hear, but let me know in the chat how that sits with you. I'm gonna go to the next caller who is 520. <laughs> Five two zero. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Oh my gosh! Thank you. You're welcome. Um. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Can I get your name? Lisa. Lisa. How can I help you tonight, Lisa? Well, I'm having. Uh, there's a Gemini guy, and. I was wondering what you see there between us. Lisa, can I get his first name? Can I give you initial? I highly doubt he's watching, but okay. Uh, D as in David. Okay, give me a second. Um, and what, what exactly, I'm sorry, what do you want to know? Uh, can you psychically tell me what the energy is from him to me, please? Do you want to know how he feels or where this is going or what's, I yes. mean. Thank you. All of that. Thank you. Okay. Um, I'm just asking a couple different questions. So just give me. You know, I am going to say this in the best, kindest way possible. Um, and I know I, I'm honest. I don't fluff things. I unfortunately, fortunately for you, but unfortunately because people want to hear certain things. But I'm just going to tell you the truth. How long have the two of you been talking, love? Well, we've known each other a year and a half. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, so, you know, that length of time. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do, Lisa. First of all, when you call in for a question with any person, 
that you're calling into have the decency to just be forthright with them. People say you're psychic. You should be able to get every answer in the world. No, no, that's I'm working with your energy. And if you're afraid to open up your energy to this, if you're afraid to, he's going to know you're asking chances of him even watching or if he does him knowing that that you're the Lisa that called in just you know do yourself the favor of opening up your energy what I'm going to tell you you've known him for a year and a half I don't know how long you've been talking to him because knowing somebody and talking to them completely two different things uh what I'm hearing is um Play stupid games, win stupid prizes is the first thing I'm hearing. I'm not saying that that's who or what or how you've, they're saying you know his opus Mirandi, the way he operates. You know the way he operates. Um, you're not the exception to the rule. Um, K sera, sera. I can only tell you what I'm hearing, and this should tell you the direction that this will probably go and how it will probably end up. Um, the next thing that I'm hearing is that he probably is not as ready to be in a full-time situation as you are um and playing coy or go along to get along isn't going to get it there that's just what i am personally hearing what you do with that is up to you that is completely up to you now if you feel better scheduling a private session where you can divulge more details and get more information i'm very happy to do that for you love um that's what i can tell you and i i hope that that was very very helpful for you okay um elizabeth wants to know are there any messages from my husband, Marty? The first thing I hear is that song, Take Me to Church. Take me to church and I'll... Something. Take me to church and I'll... Something. That song. Um, anyway, um, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, the other thing he would, the other message that he would want to give you is, um, don't, don't take it's, it, it's a very odd message. It's like, don't bet the bank on it. Don't bet the bank on it. Don't, don't, th don't go all in or don't throw all in. Um, so if there's something you're thinking about doing or you're getting ready to do, don't, don't feel like, don't go. Basically, I think you understand what that means. And I don't have to um, say too much on that. Um, but he is saying there's, there's something coming in, in between a month and a month and a half. That's going to make you really, really happy in between a month and a month and a half. It's some, it's going to surprise you. It's a surprise and it's going to make you very, very happy. Um, and the timing, it's two things. It's divine timing and perfect timing. So um, Elizabeth, that should make sense to you. I hope it does. 
So, okay, I'm going to go to the next caller. If you would like to call in, the call-in number is 845-277-9131-856. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, it's Ms. Maria from New Jersey. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Doing good. Excellent. Doing good. Uh, I don't know how to phrase it or how to ask it. Um, I'm uh, a um, long-term partner. I don't know why is he taking so long to get a hold of me. Does that make sense? Yeah. Or what's the hold on? <laughs> okay, so um, one of the things I'm getting is you have to let go of the old to get the new. Um, I hear December's a, a very, very strong possibility, but you really have to let go of the old to get the new and to be in a space. And I joke about this often. I, I joke about this so often where I say, you know, unless you, you want the guy who's delivering something to be your guy, um, you, you have to get out of the house to meet this person. Um, you're not going to meet this person through an online thing. You are going, it's almost like, okay. <laughs> it's almost like you meet this person inside a big box store, okay? And this might be the only way because you really haven't been out and about the way, whatever, but I don't mind. You know what, I, of all the ways you can meet someone doing errands or getting whatever, that's not a bad way to be perfectly honest. To be perfectly honest, that is not a bad way to meet someone. I don't hate that. I actually love that more than, you know, 20 other ways I could name to meet someone. I think when you meet somebody organically, it's a better thing. And I'm hearing produce, produce, produce. So you might actually be at like one of the bigger box stores that has a grocery area in it and um, meet somebody in the produce section. Now, I'm actually gonna give you everything I'm seeing and I see tomatoes, but then again, I also see cookies. And sometimes the bakery and the produce do go back to back, like they have them right next to each other. So that makes sense to me. Um, I feel like you're going to meet, you're going to be, there's the potential. I always have to say potential. There's the potential that you're going to meet this person in December. It could be November, but it feels more like December. And I feel like it could even be beginning of December, like second or fifth, right around that time. And they're saying, give the good guy a shot. Give, give the nice guy or give the good guy a shot. Don't be, don't be, like get past your normal things and give give a good guy a shot. Does that make sense to you, love? Uh, yeah. Okay. And do, do, when I'm going to say this to you, I'm really going to say this to you, and I hope it it makes sense. It will make sense. But when you're shopping, I don't care if you are getting up not getting up, getting personal hygiene items in the lady department, be looking around. You never know who's going to be looking back. So often in today's world, we're so hyper-focused at just looking at what we're getting or being on our phone or whatever it is. When you are out and about, especially in that type of setting, make sure you are looking around and you might be surprised at what you see. Okay, love? 
Okay, I hope that helps, sweetie. Appreciate it. Absolutely, my pleasure. Call back anytime. I'm happy to help you with that. Okay, I'm going to go to the next question online in the YouTube chat. If you'd like to call in, the call in number is 845 277 9131. Please make sure you hit the one on your keypad if you want to ask a question. Otherwise, I'm I I I just think you're just um um just listening, just using that to listen. So that is what I have on that. Uh Karen wants to know my grandpa Leo in heaven always were old spice oh nice so these are confirmations from the beginning of the show uh yeah i love that i love this yes he was always cold okay hey grandma kitty how are you um any messages from tanya wants to know any messages from my mother-in-law nora let's see tanya what we can do Tanya, I don't know if this is your mother-in-law, Nora, but I see a woman who has like maybe a longer face, a little bit thin, but maybe a little bit longer, some black hair and a cigarette and bright lipstick. I don't know who that is. Tanya, if that's not for you, that is for somebody who's listening or watching. Somebody claim her because she is like right here next to me showing me her face. Um, and maybe your mother-in-law didn't always have black hair, Maybe when she was younger or something, she looked like this, but yeah, she's like, look right here, right here. Um, okay, and she, whoever this is. Um, okay, so your mother-in-law, Nora. Let's go to mother-in-law, Nora. Well, the first thing I hear for you, Tanya, is... Um, That song, Take Time with a Wounded Something, Take Time with a Na Na Na. I know it, I can't, I can't hear any other words than those words. And even if I try to, like, I, I've heard that song, I know, but they're, they're only giving me that take time. So, whatever you're doing, right? maybe not in this second, but whatever you're working on, whatever you're doing, take your time with it. Please make sure you're taking your time with it. The next thing that I'm hearing for you from her is, um, she's real, whomever this is, they're not giving a lot of messages for you, except for that song, Take Time, something I, I wish I could know the rest of those words and I'm really sorry I don't but what I will say I'm gonna I'm just actually gonna scroll down Tanya oh okay Tanya says that's her Grammy and I think the reason Nora's not saying very much is because your Grammy actually wants to thank you for that confirmation because like Nora's like back against the wall um and i think she's honoring your grandma to let your grandma give a message so tanya if you can give me your grandma's name just because i like to be respectful and know their name because i communicate with them in my mind while i'm asking them questions for you and i like to have a name attached to that i know some people think you should be able to say their names i i that okay Maybe in your opinion, do you get their names? Yeah, okay. Then pew, her grandma's name is Martha. Okay, Martha. Oh, <laughs> here it comes. Um, I'm hearing the song take time again. But do you see how the whole energy has changed now? Like it's like wide open. Okay, so the next thing she wants to say, your grandma Martha wants to say, uh, the, that, that song, Tell Her I Love Her. 
um tell her i miss my baby i love that song i love when they bring that song through for you guys i oh i love when they bring that through that's so you don't even know like people might think oh that's just it's just such a powerful message for them to give and such a beautiful way to give it in my humble opinion the next thing that she wants to say to you is there's something coming in tomorrow now Tomorrow doesn't always mean we're going to go to sleep, wake up, and it's going to be there. It means it's coming in hot, coming in quickly. It, it'll probably be here within the month or a month. She's saying this month, this week, it could be tomorrow. I always tell people give a little bit of time because, you know, their time frame and our time frame. But she's saying it's coming in now, okay? Okay. Um, and you're gonna enjoy it. It's gonna be a lot of fun. There's also some vacation or travel time vacation, like vacation coming in. I, I'm not sure if you're gonna travel on this vacation, but there's definitely vacation. Is there travel? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Vacation coming in, vacation and travel. On a plane, nope, in a car. On a boat, nope, in a car. You're going to be traveling in a car. So that's coming in. If you don't know about that, it's coming. It's coming. You may, it may surprise you. It may surprise you. Um, I don't know this, this might make sure you put her on. I'm going to say the way I'm hearing it. You can confirm this for me. Make sure you put her ornaments on a tree. Um, so if you have any of her ornaments or anybody has her, whoever has her ornaments, even if they only have one, make sure you put them on the tree, uh, which Christmas is a couple months away. So don't rush it. I don't like the cold. Don't rush it. Um, so please confirm about, um, oh, she says, I've been thinking about taking a vacation. She's saying you're going to, you're going to take a vacation. You're going to drive someplace. This is my driving, which looks nothing. This should be driving, but this is driving over the road and through the hills to grab more stuff. Okay, sorry. Um, you're gonna be taking a vacation. It's gonna be by car. It's, okay. Um, Tanya, where are you located? And can, please, if you don't mind giving me a confirmation on uh, oh yeah, she says, yes, I'll make sure they're on the tree. Thank you so much. She said like the biggest smile, the biggest smile, the biggest smile. Uh, where are you located, Tanya? Uh, Pennsylvania. I feel like you're about to go someplace south, someplace warm. Um, but I do feel like you're going to um, drive, drive there. I feel like it is going to be not right away. It's a little bit in the future. Maybe around that November time, but you're gonna go some you're gonna go south a little bit. I don't feel like it, it might not. I hear Georgia, but I don't know about that. Like wherever you go, you can go wherever you want. It's your vacation. <laughs> She's saying, and Tanya says, I'm gonna show you guys. I wish I should be putting all the confirmations up so you know. She says, thanks. That's awesome. Um, if you, I don't know wherever you're going to go it's south west is what they're saying but not like so the southwest not the southwest it's south of you and a little bit west okay so wherever that is but you are going to drive there's going to be a group and it's going to be Fun, or they're saying it's going to be off the hook or off the chain. You're going to absolutely la 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 love it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I love that. Thank you so much for all of that. Thank you. See, she brought some really good messages through. Um, Tanya, thank you for your question. I really appreciate it. Appreciate it. Okay. Uh, Elizabeth says, my husband loved peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Peanut butter, jelly time. That was a That's a confirmation from in the beginning. I love nutter butters. <laughs> Thank you. And we used to uh, chase thunderstorms and lightning. And I hear the song right now. It's like thunder, lightning, 
the way you touch me so something knock on wood that song that song <laughs> Love it. Hey, Kate. Hey, Amy. Amy, it's been such a long minute since you've been here. Hey, you guys, don't forget, I'm going to be on the Peter G. Show. The Peter G. Show next. Um, you can, I think I posted it on my Facebook and my YouTube. You guys can follow that link and you'll be able to be part of that show. You can call into that show and ask questions also. Um, Okay, Kate wants to know, what will happen with my work? Will I get a new position or stay where I am? Oh, Kate, good question. Everything got really serious, like super serious as soon as I started asking the question. You can tell all the energy has changed. They're saying it's really up to you. There's even gonna be a possibility of you, if you want going outside of the company you're currently at, that will not happen until next year. And again, that's a choice you're going to make if, if that's, it's going to be up to you is what I hear. I do feel like there's something coming in that is going to cause you to change positions And I, again, like we're very close to next year. I mean, can you guys believe it's already almost September? I mean, um, I do feel like right around that January time, you're really going to make a decision that of what you want your next step to be and you're really going to know you're not going to hesitate and when that time comes there's going to be the opening for you as of right now kate i feel like you might end up kind of staying where you are um for a lot of different reasons i feel like right now you're not even gonna switch positions you're just going to stay right where you are for right now. But it's going to be your choice to do that. But I feel like January, you're going to make a choice. And then January, February, everything's going to start rolling forward. And let's do a clearing right now. Um, Let's do a clearing right now for anybody listening, watching, or re-listening, re-watching. Um, to clear any negative energies, entities, all of it, whatever is negative with us, anything negative, we're going to pull, clear, heal, release. Whew. While that's clearing, does my recently passed brother, Willie, have something he wants to say to me? Is he on the craft. Thank you very much. Um, the first, I, this, you know, it always surprises me what they say. And um, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. So if you want to put any comments in Grandma Kitty, the first thing he says is leave it alone. So if you know what that means, please let me know. But he, the first thing he says is leave it alone. Um, whatever that means for him, for you, for his situation, there's something he's saying, leave it alone. Maybe don't dig into it or try to look too much at something. So I want you to know that that's what he is. The first thing he's saying. The, <clears throat> the next thing he is saying Is he on the craft? He says, yeah, and he's, he's laughing. He's laughing his butt off. He goes, yep, yep. Um, he wants you to know when you, I hope this makes sense to you, Grandma Kitty. Um, okay, so I'm gonna address this first one first. She says, oh, poop, family issues around my mom's death. So that's the answer to leave it alone. You know what I'm hearing is um, 
And again, I hear, leave it alone. Let them sort it out. It won't be worth it in the end for you. Okay. And I'm going to see also, Grandma Kitty, if your mom's here. And she is. And she is. All of a sudden, I'm doing this with my head, like bobbing my head, like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, I want to go back to your, <laughs> I want to go back to um, when you're going to, when you're sitting or you're going to sleep at night, when you're passing out, this is what I'm hearing, sweetie, when you're passing out, you're welcome, Kate, when you're passing out, they're like in your head talking to you, really trying to communicate to you because when you are finally relaxing and going to sleep is when they have the chance to like um, give you messages. Now, I'm going to say this again for everybody listening and re-listening. It doesn't, only in a case of an emergency will a loved one yell to get our attention outside of our head. Otherwise, it sounds like a thought in our head. So the thoughts that you're having as you're falling asleep are from them. Um, they're trying to communicate to you. They're saying, don't, don't think too much about it. And I think, I don't know who was like the tougher one, if you will is saying, don't you worry, I've got this. Well, it's your brother, because I hear, don't you worry, I've got this, sis. Don't you worry, I've got this, sis. And he is saying also, they're not going to get away with it. So whatever that means for you and the whole situation, you don't have to put yourself, and this is what I'm hearing from them, you don't have to put yourself in the position of being a bad guy because they're going to handle it. So don't don't go don't go out on a limb. And then I hear the song, um, don't go changing to try and please me. That song, I know I, I'm not gonna sing any more of it. I think we all got it, okay? Grandma Kitty, that is exactly what I have for you. I hope that was so helpful. If you'd like to call in and ask a question, 845-277-9131. And in about 12 minutes, I'm going to be on the Peter G show, but I'm going to get through as many people as I can here. If I don't get through, if I don't get your question, or it, even if you have another question, you want to hop on over to the Peter G show, I'll be happy to um, take questions there also. And again, we're going to be talking about a lot about different things that I don't get to talk about on my show. <laughs> Yeah, kidding. I'm joking. And we're also going to be talking about like gifts and the differences. And I'll be answering a couple questions um, over there. No, Peter G. Um, Pete, the Peter G show, P E T E R G. Um, and he is on YouTube. So if you just pop into YouTube and put the Peter G show, it will pop in. You you have to put in that whole thing before he pops, though. Okay. Um, Elizabeth says, it makes perfect sense. Thank you. You are welcome, Elizabeth. Okay. I did all the Tanya ones. Isabella. Hey, Isabella. How are you? A lot of messages from loved ones tonight. Love it. Um, hi, Tony. Is there any message for me from my dad, Doug? Yeah. Isabella is, is your granddad, is one of your granddads and an uncle on the other side also? I'm going to scroll all the way down so I can get your answer, Isabella. Is, is one of your granddads and an uncle on the other side, an Uncle Jim. Uh, are one of your granddads on the other side or is this your dad's? Is this your dad's dad or your dad's granddad? Okay, your, your uncle's here. And then I also hear the name Rob. So whatever that means, 
I don't know. That could be for you. That could be for somebody else listening. That could be somebody trying to just let their loved one know. But if you know a Rob, uh, yeah, who passed away, love? Who's, pa who's on the other side with your dad? Who would be on the other side with your dad? Because I hear granddad and uncle. I hear uncle, 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 and then I hear granddad. So either this is this is how this goes. This is why I ask. They either have a message for an uncle that's here or a granddad that's here. And if if the person named Rob is, if you know somebody named Rob here, that means the message is for the person Rob that's here. Okay. I hope that makes sense. I know it's trying to explain it can sometimes sound a little funny. So, okay. The first thing Okay, so I'm going to start with your dad, Doug, and your your granddad, your granddad, your dad, granddad. My grandpa's name is Rob. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay. Your grandpa's name is Robert, Rob, Rob, who is still here. Okay, and your dad was just about to say something about, so your dad is saying, uh, the first thing your dad wants to say, this makes, now see, this is why I ask because when they start to leave give a message your granddad he is um okay um isabella i feel like if you can have some communication with your grandpa at this time that would be really good or spend a little time with him if you can if you can't be in person with him, at least have some phone conversations if you can. How is your grandpa's health, Isabella? Um, I know what I'm hearing. I'm asking you. Um, and then I'll tell, tell you what, uh, what I'm going to hear. Um, please tell me, um, <clears throat> how is your grandfather's health? health? right now um, he's a little overweight and has some dental issues okay i'm going to say this to you and i don't know when this is going to happen isabella but i feel like he might take a bit of a turn um now that doesn't mean he's going to go home right away okay it doesn't mean he's going to be leaving and going home right away. I do feel like he is going to have some medical complications coming in. I feel like he needs to be watched carefully and closely so that they do not miss something. I also feel like he is going to have to take, uh, well, obviously take a little bit better care of himself, but he's going to have to take responsibility for himself. There's something he's doing right now that is causing him damage or problems. There's, and it's not the being overweight a little bit and overeating. It's something else that's causing him problems. And it could be a habit or something else, but, but this is what I'm hearing. Um, they're saying he really... Okay, when he takes a turn for the worse... He may not be aware that he's taking a turn for the worse and he's going to need someone to like, to see it, to, to like know it, like it, somebody else. Do you know how like sometimes we get sick and we're not aware of how sick we are, but somebody else can look at us and go, holy smokes, you need, you need to go to the ER. Like, and we're like, no. I'm not that bad. And we're like on death's door, right? Like we, 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 so what I'm getting is somebody needs to have eyes, eyes on him to make sure he's, um, because I feel like something going on with him, it's going to take a turn, a, a negative turn. And somebody needs to like see it because he won't, or he won't do something about it. Okay. Or he might know he's not doing the best, but he won't like go to a doctor or whatever. I had a friend, Jerry, who was like, I just, 
loved Jerry so much. He was like such a amazing person. And he lived in another state. And I was talking, I would call him and say to him, you need to get to the doctor. You do not sound good. You do. And then he ended up, um, it's a long story, but then he ended up going home because it was just too much and he would not, he, but he wouldn't listen to me and go to the doctor. Somebody had to physically show up at his place and take him because he wouldn't go in on his own. So please make sure you have, they're telling me to say that story so that like somebody can have like eyes on him and, um, and if something does take a turn, which it probably is going to, they can get him in. Okay. I was helping everyone else. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's so typical. Please make sure Isabella, if you can, that, that, that is something you can do for him. Okay. You guys, I have a couple more seconds here. I'm going to try to get another question or another connection in. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Trisha, we're hoping the safe the sale would go through that we would be moving in October. Is there a chance they can move in? I'm hoping you can too. Um, let's see what happens. I'll say a prayer for you, but right now it's looking like there might be a little, a little, we'll see what happens. Just keep a good thought on it, Trisha. Okay. Uh, Colleen wants to know, any message from David, my son, Colleen? Okay, uh, Colleen, David's here. Can I please ask at what age did he pass? Because I'm hearing an age and I want to know uh, how this, how this relates to things. So please tell me what age did he pass, love? Um, David, David is saying he's sorry, whatever. Okay. So the age I heard was 18, 18, 18. So that is, I, and now I, I hear 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18. He's just, and then he goes 12. So whatever, happened at 28. There was something at 12, but then it really took hold at 18. Okay. This is, uh, yeah, 18 was a turning point. 18 was a turning point. Thank you for the confirmation. Oh, I have goosebumps. So this is a confirmation when I get 18, 18, 18, just like with Isabella, when I got the name Rob, even though they call him Bob, that's, that's also a confirmation. Um, even though it might not, you know, whatever. So 18, that's a, that's, that was the turning point. It was yes. And thank you for confirming that for me. Um, then he says, he's sorry. The, the next thing I hear is sorry, sorry, sorry. It shouldn't have happened like this. It shouldn't have gone like this. I just, I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. I knew, but I didn't know. I knew, but I didn't know. Please let me know, Colleen, if that makes sense to you, please let me know. And then the next thing he wants to say is you were his saving grace. Um, 90 seconds. You were his saving grace. Thank you for believing in me. Thank you for helping me. And you were my saving grace. Thank you for all the confirmations. I do, uh, go over to the Peter G show. Let's continue this on the Peter G show. Colleen, um, you guys, I'm going to, disconnect here and get right over there. The show is going to keep going. You can call in the same number for the next show. Um, and I look forward to seeing you guys over there. I'll be back Monday at noon for my show. I love you guys so much.